Hi all, today we will see merge join step in Pentaho. So here I have taken two data sets, employee and department. So in employee you can see the name and department two columns, name of the employees and their respective departments. Second data set is department name like computer, cricket, news, book, TV, and department ID. So, we are going to join these two data sets using merge join step. So, you can see this is merge join step. First step is employee, and second step data is department so we will be doing an inner join between these two data sets it will fetch all the common records for all the two data sets so this is a keys for first step and this is a keys for second step you can also do a get key fields you can clear and add all you can see the two fields coming from step one that is employee table. So we'll be doing join based on department IDs. So we'll remove this name. In second step, you can clear and add all the columns. Here we'll remove department name because we'll be joining based on the department ID. Click on OK. So here you can see the warning message the merge join needs the input to be sorted on the specified keys if you don't sort the inputs the output is not going to be correct so you can understand so so for that we use two sorters one is for employee and other is for department so in employee you have name to the step that is employee sort you can get the fields coming from employee table so two fields are there so we'll sort based on department id ascending so you can choose ascending or descending by selecting yes or no and ok similarly for department sort we will get the fields and we will sort based on the department id in ascending order so now both the tables are sorted based on your department id we will try to execute this transformation and just preview yeah. and you can see the data for both uh, tables employee and department the records are based on the department id like your name is mirind and department id 1010 10. name virat and department id so these tables are merged using department id similarly you can see left outer join here in left outer join it will pick all the records from your employee table which is your first step and all the matching columns from your second step that is department sort rows so click on ok understand now here you can see all the columns from your employee table and only matching from your second table that is department so you can see null populated for the rows where there is no corresponding department id is present similarly the next is write outer join in this case 
all the records from your second step that is department and only matching from your employee so you can see click on preview launch so here you can see all the records from your department table are populated only matching records from employee table last scenario in this merge join step is full outer join as you know the join types full outer will give you all the records from both the tables so you can see all the records from both the tables are populated all the seven rows so in this way you can create a transformation using merge join and you can join different data sources if you have any questions please comment i'll try to get back to you thank you